How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to a first look at Curse of the Dead Gods, a new game that is just coming out as of today. You can play it now in early access. This is kind of an early look at things. They have a full roadmap planned of where they want to go with the game so you can take a look at that. They seem to have quite a strong idea of the direction the overall game is, is taking but there's already a lot of content here to be played. It's like an action RPG roguelite. Light, I think there are some, some progression elements throughout, but blending that with an action RPG sounded like a lot of fun. It did it did warn that you should probably have a controller, uh, so you can play without, but the game does strongly suggest it. Could have to Indiana Jones that shit if you want to get out of there, man mistake you've made equip a torch I do like the stylistic art style it has it's like bordering on cell shaded but I wouldn't say that's entirely accurate oh I can bash people up real good and do a charged swing with the torch I also have like the six swords I have uh, a big-ass gun my cameras acting up I hope that doesn't become a recurring problem I do like this big skull in the wall, and it looks very creepy the way that it is like teeth in the wall there. That's less cool. That's more just strange, and I don't think I like it. It's too weird for me. Hopefully all it takes to open this overly complicated, gigantic do doorway. That's even easier than I thought. I was thinking the heat of a torch. Nope, it just needs the light touching of some fingertips. The least secure access point that anyone's ever put into a hidden crypt. Oh. Okay. Uh, do I get to choose a branching path of progression? Gold, gold, and stats are my different options. I'm guessing I'm currently sitting on zero gold. So starting on a gold path is probably a good way to go. Or did I pay gold? Am I thinking through that the wrong way? Maybe that would be the curse. Uh, just uh, it's incorporating a quick tutorial. You can dodge around, chain melee attacks together with a big finisher, ranged attacks consume stamina. Oh god, there's like creepy things laughing and things like that. Stamina, I guess, is the same as what I'm using for the uh, the rolling there. Is that? That's clear to me now. Oh god, I've just immediately stepped onto some spikes. Oh god, everything is just traps. Everything is traps and I used all my stamina dicking around in the early part of the level. That was a bit of a rude awakening for me. That, that just did not go well at all. That was some cool action. I'm gonna bash up these ghosts so good. Oh god, okay, this is a little bit intense actually. Oh. The, they look cool. I don't have enough stamina for this sort of dodging around or anything. The art of the enemies looks cool. The camera might just not make it through the playthrough. That seems like it's going to be a very recurring issue. It's, I've been having a lot of issues with it lately. But there's a real intensity here, actually. Because you know that it's a, it's a rogue. Roguelike. There's only the, going to be the one chance to do things. That... Rolling up on that guy just did not go well the way I wanted it to. I find that it can be a recurring issue with the Diablo series. The lack of consequences makes battles feel insignificant. So I think this could be really good. Yats Pendant, Relic, Eagle, plus three dexterity. Does that mean it's not gonna... Like, is that sticking around? Is that a permanent stat upgrade I've received? Yes. It also only has a one next to it. So, like... I can potentially upgrade that in some way. Oh, I can check out my stats off to the side here, seeing the additional bonuses that I'm receiving. Blessings of the dead gods. That sounds more desirable than a curse. If it comes down to it. Oh man, that got it. That weirdly startled me to an extent I wouldn't have anticipated. That was terrible, terrible aim. I'm trying to be way more mindful of stamina. Oh my god. Okay, that dodge that dodge was decent, but I'm, I'm still quite terrified of getting too close to things too frequently. 
I actually am loving the combat so far. It's weird. Diablo 2 messed around with stamina for running around. It didn't work. It was uninteresting. Did not add anything to the game whatsoever. It was basically just a frustration. Nobody liked it. I'm not sure if there was a chest in the other room that I missed. Minus 10 gold offering cost. So that's the thing. Is that what I did? Did I make a gold offering to go through that gate previously? But I feel like this game is taking a necessary, like, step forward gameplay mechanics evolutionary wise. See, I don't, I don't, I don't think that cost gold. They didn't gain gold either. Oh god, it's definitely a curse though. Volatile remains. I like that they're taking a page from like Dark Souls though, where stamina and timing and precision of combat makes a big difference. That doesn't seem very common in like an isometric ARPG. No one knows when a fire shall truly stop its burning. It consumes all and everything that becomes enamored with its glow. Enemies killed with burning will explode after a little while. I dig that. Sounds like it could be a little corpse explosion-y. That's always been a, a, a great addition to the Diablo franchise. I'm okay with it expanding beyond. I do kind of like starting an, an attack in a, in a new room so, <laughs> with with a big, big range shot like that. Doesn't seem to do a ton. I'm I'm specifically trying to get someone. Oh god, yep, yeah, that was those were those remains were quite volatile. I was specifically trying to get someone burning with my torch so I could see how that played out. Oh my god. My fleeing is not going well at all. It's really hard to get the torch into the mix because you have to swap weapons to do it. But the exploding was really cool, it just didn't really work out. Claws of evisceration. A main weapon claw deals critical damage against enemies under 50% health. And I'm guessing the machete is just what I'm currently holding. So I'm swapping out for the claws instead. I guess gearing up proper Diablo-esque stats doesn't count for anything or, or matter if you're doing a roguelike. So instead it's just about finding different weapons and things that you can immediately swap out. Here it is the exact same thing. Can ditch him. Don't need him. Desperately could use a way to heal. Hmm. That seems awfully quickly to be advancing again. Like, no time at all. The idea of a Diablo-like game that you can pick up and mess around with. Oh, can I, I can probably, like, light this, can't I? Yep, that was something I could have been doing all this time. I thought I could, I thought I could mash around some combos there before it became too big of a concern. Oh, that fire did not last long at all, honestly. <sighs> the ranged attacks are so good, but then you end up burning through your stamina. The trade-offs there are really great. Plus 15 damage to poison attacks. Does that mean it will add poison? Because currently I can't deal poison as far as I know. God damn you traps. Oh god. <laughs> I <laughs> did not exit the room very uh, properly. Thought I would just end that as quick as I could. Trying to keep up a little bit, a little bit of distance here. Oh, he came in running with a huge swing. He backhanded me so easily. Tracking of the Blood Hunter, only 22% progression, which was just not good. Generally, things didn't go well. I uh, obviously am immediately going to try that again now with hopefully a better feel of the mechanics and everything like that. I only found three skulls, so I can't even I can't even do the simplest of any of this. There's a few things. There's blessings. Tamok's breath. Whenever an enemy is on fire, he's weakened for a short duration. And indomitable, when attacking damage taken are reduced by 50% and you can't be interrupted. So there's only a certain number of blessing slots, so I would I would have to pick and choose. Oh, this one's even cheaper. The Furious Skin. Gain Fury, deal 50% more damage for 10 seconds after taking damage. Uh, traps deal 100% damage to enemies. Perfect Dodge, Trigger Haste, increase movement speed for 5 seconds, and gives 3,000 gold at the start of the exploration. But obviously you only have a certain number of slots, like right now I only have the one slot. Uh, as seen here. 
defeat the first Jaguar champion and the second Jaguar champion to, to unlock those. Or I could deposit to favor divine. Each favor allows to renew the object proposed in weapon or relic shines. Doesn't mean a lot to me currently. And work in progress. There's like a third category of places to spend the skulls that is not currently available. Something that's going to be coming later on in the game. I saw that there's like the three different totems lit up here. So I thought maybe the other two were indicating something. My guess is that they're representing like three different Jaguar bosses. Oh, okay, I got options here. Not currently, I'm not allowed to access work in, project, work in progress serpent or the other one. Tracking of the blood hunter, short exploration, medium, long, and hard. I'm liking the fact that it gives you the, the variety. So if you're feeling like, hey, I got like an hour, an hour or two, I could do like a longer session. I could try and earn more rewards Then it gives you that uh, short freedom. I'm going to start on just this basic gold path. I'm guessing, oh, 20. Okay. So each time you go through one of those doors, it's filling up that purple bar in the bottom right there is my understanding. And like, I'm guessing because it's gold. Yeah, like look at look at all this gold everywhere. That's like the main thing it's showing me is that like, yes, this is a, a path option where you'll earn an extra amount of gold. That's like the main thing you're going to be finding. Are they, is it still teaching me? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's like more mechanics to be learned apparently. There's like still extra tutorial going on. I wasn't sure exactly how or why. There's like a perfect timing shot, right? I'm guessing right when it turns yellow like that is would be a perfectly timed shot. Guess you shouldn't just stand there and take it. And things start fighting back at you like that. A forge hammer deals crit damage against burning enemies. Uh, causing burn is very difficult. I, I like the idea of having a slow attack like that. A war mechana. Charged attacks deal more damage. Oh, that it's that would be this guy. Big charged attack. Cool. I'm going to stick with the forge hammer. It just seems neat. I just like the idea of it, so why not? Seems like even though it'll be slow and heavy... Oh, I was really hoping that I'd be able to finish an enemy with one three-hit combo. Oh, damn it, he still managed to get me. Get in my way, dude. I was trying to hit your buddy right to the side of you there. Come on. They're all, they all have like one health left there. That sucks. There's the skulls. I honestly wasn't 100% certain when and where I'd been picking up skulls throughout my individual run there. Scorpion Spear, two-handed, poison attacks. Dope. Oh, it's totally separate. So I, I have a, a whole new thing here now. What, what are these things that I haven't been doing? Charged attack, perform a secondary weapon attack after a series of main weapon attacks to trigger an offhand combo. Oh god, I just lit something on fire. There's like oil on the ground or something that I just lit on fire on accident. Oh man, that's kind of really, really cool. I was just messing around trying to achieve the different combos or whatever that it's talking about there and I managed to burn up whatever that is. I, I don't know how to do the secondary weapon combo thing. I mean, X is my main weapon, according to, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure how to do any of that. I'll go with a stats route, kind of curious what that will be. I mean, I can assume it's going to be used towards improving my character stats, but precisely how that's going to fit into things, like how I go about achieving that remains to be seen. Like, I'm guessing it's not going to be laying around on the ground the way that, uh, Oh god, I gotta steer clear of all that. Laying on the ground the way that all the gold is, you know? That just wouldn't make much sense. Yeah, okay, that's the sort of comboing I want to be achieving on a more regular basis. Damn, okay, you can't really interrupt these guys. Which makes things a lot more difficult overall. If you can, then I just haven't really properly done it yet. But running, when they're like winding up for their big combos and things, running in yourself is not a great option. Oh, poison combo. 
It was as amazing as I hoped it would be. Ooh, I think there's some very slight auto-aim that goes on when you're using uh, the ranged weapon. The poison is so satisfying. I love that. A duelist shiv, a secondary weapon dagger. It counts as my ranged. Evading an attack with an offhand combo fully restores stamina. That sounds kind of difficult to pull off. Oh, but that means after a series of main weapon attacks. So if I do that and then, so or like one, two offhand, that's what I'm trying to do. I can't quite seem to uh, figure out what it wants from me or how to make that happen. What is this altar? Oh, this, this will be where I deal with uh, stats. Extra damage, extra gold find, damage and gold find, but it costs gold and I'm gaining curse is what I'm understanding. I'm gonna do both because whatever I can, might as well try it out. It didn't add to my purple bar. I thought that's what it was saying. I thought it was telling me it'll cost this much gold. You're going to accumulate purple, which I still haven't figured out if it's bad yet. This one will have a special weapon of some kind. So I'm, I'm interested to see what that would or could be. I really, really am liking my, my poison spear item. I intend to continue using that frequently. Dope. That seemed a little bit, a little bit like I, I may be interrupted. Oh, I'm sitting here trying to use a ranged attack, forgetting that I switched to the dagger. Stupid. Oh my god. The the sound design behind these particular enemies is kind of nuts, actually. There's like a lot going on there. That was me running in with the dagger on purpose that time. The dash, the dash attack thing with the dagger is really cool. Oh, come on. I can't seem to get the finishing blow on these things ever. Holy shit. Oh god, okay, but not not a Jaguar boss, I'm guessing, but we have like a little mini boss character. No no no. No healing. Take your poison. You take it. Take it, you like it. Jesus Christ. I I didn't realize I was running on like no mana that entire time. So I was, or not man, yeah, mana, whatever stamina, it doesn't matter. But that's why I could not do anything there. That was brutalizing me. Is that it? Am I allowed to leave now, finally? Now that you've mangled me? Maybe that's the minimum my bar has to be filled up by in order to like claim one of these rewards. A claw with, with a different ability, a jaguar hammer, two-handed heavy fire attacks. I'm, it's like a level two or something, I guess, is what the two means. And we have the sacrificial mechana, and it adds all kinds of crazy things. Offer blood. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that for the most expensive one, because I don't know entirely what's going on, but I'll try to offer blood for it. Oh, God, I like... Okay. Okay, so either you pay gold or blood. Gotcha. That's uh, interesting that there's a trade-off there. So you're like, you're losing out by doing that. Because like, every time you go through one of these doors, you're accumulating more of this purple glowing special ability. And by giving that up, like, you get to improve yourself in some way when that maxes out. So you're giving that up in some way cadaverous infest infestation some enemies lie dormant hidden within hosts just waiting for the moment to strike even more unwary prey regular enemies can spawn additional critters so yes these are bad things the exploding thing burning enemies have a chance to explode it almost sounded like it could be positive you know but now I'm realizing those explosions probably would have ruined me and they were not supposed to be positive things. Holy sweet merciful shit. Th this big guy's freaking me the hell out. I do not I don't want I don't want to get near that and he gave me no choice. <laughs> I wanted to keep my distance. I didn't want to get involved. That was really intense. The nemesis, the lurker, the lurker would have been who killed me on that one. Well, Jesus. <laughs> I got so fucking ruined during that. That went t t 
terribly. I could I could gain fury or traps hurt enemies. I guess I'll take the fury just for the sake of having something. Because right now I just do not. Maybe I should have done it a favor. Allows to renew the object proposed in weapons or relic shrines. Barely follow what that means. Do not understand very well. <laughs> but I'm slowly understanding the mechanics of battling a little bit better. The final curse? Final curse. Ooh. So the, that's a big one, I guess, if you manage to fill all that up all the way. The game seems very cool, very polished, good art style, good combination of mechanics, fun combat, like intense combat, quite difficult. There is like an urgency to it because you just know you can die. You're so frail. I really like a lot of what they fit into this and the way they balanced it. The variety of different weapon drops and things like that. It would be cool if maybe you could find um, like a, a armor and a helmet. Just like two pieces of equipment in that regard or something that could give additional benefits. But I guess that's what these different relics are kind of filling that role a little bit. That's where you can get extra modifiers for your character. That's all I'm going to do with it for now. Obviously not a great, great attempt overall, but I'm very exhausted. <laughs> I would have loved to have shown off the boss, but I just am like not holding it together very well today. I've, I've been fighting in cold for a bit, so I'm unfortunately tapping out let me know what you guys think of the game go check it out for yourselves it's out now early access link down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon